So here's the problem we're gonna solve in today's video. There's a leak in this toilet tank and the leak is happening at the flush valve. But we don't wanna pull the tank off of the toilet bowl, which can be a little bit scary for some homeowners because that could create more problems than necessary for older toilets. So what can you do? Well, you can use this kit. It's called the Performax Flush Valve Repair Kit by Fluid Master. And you can put that over top of the flush valve seat. And what that'll do is not only create a seal between the flush valve, but it'll also give you a new flapper. So this is a, a big solution to a problem that's common in older toilet tanks. Step one is to turn the water off at the shutoff valve by turning it clockwise. Now, if you're scared to do that because your shutoff valve looks older than dirt, then don't touch it because we have a simple solution for you and that involves using a marker. Yes, a simple marker. You're gonna wedge this between the bottom of the toilet tank and below the float of your fill valve. And then you can flush the toilet, the float won't go down and that'll prevent water from running in the toilet tank. What we'll do in this case is we'll wedge the marker between this bolt here and the float. The next step is to flush the toilet and hold down on the handle until all the water is drained out. And as you can see, water is not running because we have our float propped up. There are three components to this repair kit. You have the flapper, the drain seat, and then you have some plumber's putty underneath the drain seat. This plumber's putty is gonna sit either on the tank itself, the brass flush valve, or a traditional flush valve. So you have, again, three different situations where this could be used. We're gonna remove the old flapper. Super easy to do, you just take it off of the flush valve. If there's excess water in the tank, you can sponge it out and either put it down the flush valve or into the toilet bowl itself. The next step is to clean the seat of the flush valve. So in this case, I'm just using the same sponge. And then we're gonna use a microfiber cloth to dry off the seat. Now it's really important for this seat to be completely dry for the next step. This existing flush valve is slanted, so we have to position the new flush valve repair kit in a special way. Basically, this is 12 o'clock, and you have three o'clock and nine o'clock. This hinge has a center line right here. So it's going directly through the center of our repair kit. Basically that center line has to be just a little bit above three o'clock or nine o'clock. And you want the chain to be closest to the tank. Leave the paper on the plumber's putty and set this down onto the existing flush valve. This is the right location because our center line is just above the three o'clock position and the chain is closest to the tank. Now what I'm gonna do here is adjust the chain length such that we have about half inch slack between the chain and our handle. One thing that I like to do is double loop the chain around this hook so that when the flapper goes up and back down, the chain doesn't get caught between the seat and the flapper and create a leak. The interesting thing about this flapper is it has numbers on it. So you can adjust the flush volume by turning this flapper clockwise or counterclockwise. The main thing to know is the higher the number in front of the chain, the more flush volume you're gonna get out of this flapper. So if you set it to nine, for example, that's gonna give you the maximum flush volume that you need to get all the debris from the toilet bowl down into your waste stack. So because this toilet is older, we're gonna put the setting at nine. Now you can remove the piece of paper that's on the bottom of the plumber's putty, and we're gonna set this over top of the old flush valve. Press the repair kit firmly down onto the flush valve seat so that the plumber's putty oozes out a little bit and creates a tight waterproof seal so that you don't have any leaks between the plumber's putty and the old flush valve seat. Once the repair kit is in place, you can attach the chain to the toilet handle 
and then flush the tank to check and see that it works properly. I also adjusted the water level in this tank so that it would be at the mark on the overflow pipe of the old flush valve. This little kit is a really good problem solver if your leak is between the flapper and the flush valve, and in particular if the flush valve is a little uneven and you don't want to swap that out. So make sure you keep the kit in mind. They're available online and in many home stores. And we'll also put a link to our fill valve tutorial, which is very, very good and goes into detail on how to swap out the fill valve if that continues to run and looks old. So make sure you check out that video as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.